Hey guys, what's up? It's early in the morning and um, my hair looks crazy, I know, but I'm getting my braids done. So if you know, you know. So I'm about to go pick out an outfit. Um, I'm not really doing much today. I did want to wear a skirt. Um, it is kind of cold outside, but I was going to wear a skirt with some tights and a cute like long sleeve shirt or something like that. So we'll see how that outfit turns out. I might just not do that at all. Quite honestly, I don't know where any of my tights are. And I was gonna film the blowing out process, but honestly, it took me like five minutes. I have like 45 minutes until this appointment, so I'm gonna continue to do what I gotta do. So like I said, I was supposed to be wearing a skirt and a cute top. I'll show you the outfit in a couple of seconds, but I couldn't find the tights. So instead, um, I'm wearing this champion sweater and I went in the exact opposite direction because if i can't wear my skirt i don't want to wear anything cute at all i'm wearing some ripped jeans and then when in doubt crock it out so i was originally gonna wear this skirt and this shirt i literally wear this shirt all the time it's my absolute favorite uh, and i was gonna wear these together but i could not find tights for the life of me so i was definitely gonna wear that and i was gonna wear my docs I was super excited to put this outfit on. I've been waiting literally like two weeks to wear that skirt. It still has the tag on it. Um, and I was gonna wear it when I got my hair done because I wanted to do a whole glow up video for you guys. But like, things just don't work out in my favor. I just can't find not one pair of tights right now. Like not one. So this is what I look like in the daylight. Um, my house is actually pretty dark. Why is my windshield wiper on? But this is what I look like. This is, I know, it's crazy, it's crazy. Don't, you don't have to come for me. You don't have to do that. And I know I sound like absolute garbage. Like guys, you guys are just gonna have to bear with me today. It's early and anytime I wake up, whether I have allergies or not, I sound like a troll who just woke up from a 300 year nap. We're actually still kind of early. This place is right outside of my community, which is literally less than three minutes from where I'm at right now. It's eight. 44 and my appointment's at 9 so I still have a few minutes but I think I'm just gonna show up early I don't think they open until 9 but I'm just I'm just gonna be that person <laughs> I'm just gonna get there and we're just gonna do it I just pulled up before I go inside I kind of want to explain something to you guys I moved out here and there were no hair salons for colored people it was basically just hair salons with girls who were afraid to do hair like mine when I was in college, I went to this one hair salon and she absolutely ruined my hair. When I tell you guys my hair is not hard to do at all, I don't really have that many problems with my hair. And ever since that day, um, when I actually moved back to New York and then came back out here, I never got my hair done by anybody outside of New York ever again. So now I'm here and I was really, really nervous, but I found this woman on Instagram, um, her, page I believe is Zena's hair studio and when I saw her work I was like you know what I kind of want to give it a try it's right outside of my community and if this works out then at least I'll be close to home when I need to get my hair done so now I'm here and I'm really excited because I feel like her work looks really really good you guys are gonna see what it looks like afterward Okay guys, quick time check. It's been about three weeks since I've had my hair done. Yes, three weeks. At first, I was just procrastinating, but then I realized I should probably do this video about three weeks down the line when I'm getting ready to take the braids out because I'm going to get another style done. And then I could give you guys my full thoughts on everything. So yeah, this is week three hair. And honestly, I've never been more happy with a style. I was saying it on that first day before I got my hair done, but I never get my hair done out here. I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story as to why I don't get my hair done out here, just so you guys understand why I just am traumatized, to be honest. 
When I first moved out here, it was actually 2014. So this is my second time moving to Pennsylvania. The first time that I moved to Pennsylvania, I was actually going to college out here um, at Kutztown University. And I was a part of the cheer team for a little while and I had to get my hair done for a game. So naturally I thought I should just go to a hair salon, let them take care of my hair so that I don't have to do it and worry about that and schoolwork and the game. This was the actual experience that completely traumatized me. So it was this cute little shop right there on the corner of, I wanna say Normal Street? Normal something, anyway, it was right there on this corner and this cute little shop was actually I think the only hair salon at the time on the strip, which is why I ended up going there anyway. It might've been like one other, but I think they specialized in like hair color and I wasn't coloring my hair. I was literally just trying to get a wash and blow. How do you mess up a wash and blow? I'm not even asking you to put me in a roller set. I literally just wanted you to wash my hair and to blow it out. Anyway, I go into this cute little salon. My hair is not hard to handle. I have like three B hair maybe, but my hair is not very hard to deal with at all. I walk in and I let her know. I said, I would really love it if you could do a wash and blow. I have a game later. It's really important that I get it done now. She is looking at me with wide doe eyes, staring at me like I just walked in and ran her over with a Mack truck. So at this point I'm like, I should probably walk back out. I did not trust my gut instinct, I stayed. So now she's looking at me with these crazy eyes and she's like, okay. And she's now taking me over to her little station to evaluate my hair and figure out what she's gonna do. She sits me in this little chair over the sink and she's just looking at me like, And I'm, like, I'm wondering in my head, like, what could be running through her mind right now? Like, does she think that my hair is just so hard to handle that she's not gonna be able to get a comb through it or shampoo through it or, like, what is going on with her? And she starts to wash my hair and she's like, hold on, let me just get an item to <laughs> demonstrate this. Okay, so I was making coffee this morning and there's still a little bit left in here, but it's not hot enough that I can't touch it. She is like this with my head. This woman is barely touching my scalp. She's trying to wash the very outer layer of the strands of my hair. And I'm like, what is happening here? I told her, I literally said to her, do not be scared. Do not be scared. My hair's not going to bite you. She kind of nervously laughed and just was like, okay. Fast forward and we are now in the chair getting ready to blow my hair out. This was the worst part. This was the worst part. She is now taking a bristle brush. Hold on, let me just, let me go get a brush for reference. Now that I think about it, I think this is like the exact brush that she was using. So, <laughs> a bristle brush and the blow dryer with a comb piece on it with the pick part that nobody uses unless they're just trying to quickly blow their hair out to get a style in it or something. This woman takes the blow dryer with the pick piece and the bristle brush and she is taking sections of large, se large sections of my hair and she's taking it and she's putting it out, taking the blow dryer and she's holding it Instead of holding it by the nozzle piece like they kind of teach you how to do, I'm not even in hair school and I know this. She's holding it by the handle, coming like this, going like that, and like this, and like that, and like this, and like that. And she is serious, she's very serious, but she's doing it so lightly. Like, I can't do it on this, but she's literally going like this, as lightly as possible, and then, I don't even want to do it. I don't want to touch the braids with it. But anyway, that's what she's doing. So she spends about an hour doing this over the course of my whole head. It takes me 30 minutes to straighten my hair. She's taking an hour. At this point, I'm like, why? Did you send me here today, Jesus? Is this what you wanted from me? I was so stressed out, but I wasn't saying anything because I thought maybe she was going to redeem herself with the flat iron. Y'all, this woman stops puts the bristle brush down, puts the blow dryer down, and says, you are all done. You are all done. 
I looked in the mirror and I looked back at this woman and I was just like, no. And I'm just thinking to myself like, fix it, Jesus. So I explained to her, I said, my hair is supposed to be straight, like normal straight. At this point, the beginning of this video, the way you saw me, that's what my hair looked like. I had blonde hair at the time, so it was just making me worse. And it just looked so terrible. And I'm like, what was so hard about a wash and blow? I should have just asked for a wash and set. I might've actually had a chance. She's looking at me kind of puzzled, like she doesn't know what to do after this. And I said, you can pass the flat iron over it. She's like, that's an extra $5. I'm like, take the $5, flat iron my hair. It's not even straight guys. So anyway, we're now done with that part of the story. I walked out of the shop and I was so disappointed. I don't even know why I paid her. Needless to say, I moved out of Pennsylvania after that and I moved back to New York. I came back here in 2018 and I was so traumatized with getting my hair done. I never once even thought of going to a salon out here ever again. It is now 2022. We're coming to the end of 2022, yay. We're going into 2023 now. I still have not gone get my hair straightened at a salon since I've been back. I straighten my own hair, I do my own stuff. I don't go to anybody. That is why I was so nervous to try a brand new braiding salon because I've only had my hair braided by one other person out here and she did a mediocre job. They were kind of neat. I mean, they were neat braids. It was two cornrows. There's really not too many ways you can mess up two cornrows, but she kind of had my hair connected in the back. Like there was a piece from one side going into the other and it just, she was rude. It was a mess. I won't say her salon name because you know what? Some of you guys out here might want to give her a try. Maybe she's different now. I don't know. But ever since that, and I paid $60 for two braids for her to kind of mess them up and be rude, I just didn't want to go to anybody else. Fast forward to this year, and I was thinking to myself, I need to find a new place. So I started to look. I started to look people up. And honestly, I wasn't even looking in Pennsylvania. I was looking in Jersey. That's how traumatized I was. Even though I did for a little while think about going back to New York and just getting my hair done there. Like my aunt, she does amazing hair. I was just gonna pay her and ask her to do it. But at the same time, I don't like intruding on other people's lives. So let me at least try to find something in my area first. And then if I must, I'll go back to New York. This spot ended up being right outside of my community. I found that crazy. She's been there for two years, two years and I never even noticed, which is not her fault. It's just the lot that she ended up being in. About a month ago, I said, I really want to get my hair done. Like I need to get my hair done. So I looked her up and I said, you know, I might as well just look at her Instagram at least. And I found her on Instagram and she's great. She does such an amazing job. As you guys can see, I literally love my hair. And I can't even believe it held up for three weeks. Like I've seen people's braids come out after like one or two weeks. Like some of them are just like falling out or whatever because they didn't actually put them in well, but not her. She did an amazing job. She was the sweetest girl. Hi Zena, if you're watching this, cause I told you I was gonna post a video. I know it's been three weeks. You're probably like, oh my God, she's a liar. But no, yeah, this is the best thing I've had done literally ever. Most of the time I used to get my hair done by my friends or um, I had this one braiding salon that I would go to and get cornrows done, but I never really got my box braids done professionally. And this is the first time I've had it done professionally and I'm so happy that I went with her. I was so traumatized and I told her about everything and I told her why I was traumatized. I told her about the other braiding spot and I was never gonna go back there again and was just contemplating never getting my hair done out here ever again. So if you guys are in the Poconos and you need somewhere to get your hair done, Zena does an amazing job. She's actually moving her shop down the hill now. Um, she's gonna be an effort, so just kind of keep a lookout. But her Instagram is Zena's Hair Studio. I will do a spin real quick. They are butt length. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, I actually asked for waist length, and she ended up going a little bit longer, and she's like, I think it'll look nice like this, and it did. I absolutely love it. It was $190, which I think is really well priced for the length, for the amount of hair that she used, for the size of the braids. I think that this was just a great purchase all the way around. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for coming along with me. I'm going to do some more filming today, and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.